was September 11, 2001. The second tower of the World Trade Center had been hit, and all of us stationed at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar were ordered to immediately report to the base. I'm Amy McGrath, and because I live nearby, I was one of the only weapons systems officers to make it on the base before we went to DEFCON 3 and the gates were locked. No one else would be allowed in. Here I was, just out of fighter attack training, and even though I had no combat experience yet, my commanding officer had no choice but to put me in the back seat of an F-18 with engines running at the end of the runway, ready to take off at a moment's notice. I sat there for four hours, waiting to see if we would have to shoot down a passenger airliner. All I could think of was, this is not what I signed up for. I tell you this story for two reasons. First, it's to make the point that our military answers to a chain of command. And if the president had ordered me into the air to shoot down hundreds of civilians, I would have had to do it. The power of the commander in chief is absolute. There are no safeguards in situations like that or a nuclear standoff. And with this president, that is concerning. Second, there are times when politicians might have to make a difficult choice. Do you stand with the president or do you stand with the country? Right now is one of those times. Every Republican congressman and senator has to make a choice. Standing up to the president may not be what they signed up for, but when the president is in solidarity with white supremacists and Nazis, those members of Congress have to stand up and tell him he's wrong. They need to tell him this is not what America stands for. This is not what soldiers, airmen, sailors, and Marines laid down their lives for in World War II. And this is not the kind of president our country deserves. We need leaders willing to stand up and do what's right for our country, no matter who the president is or what party they're in. That's why I'm running for Congress against Andy Barr in Kentucky. He has yet to condemn the president on anything. Put another way, it reminds me of a book I've read to my kids. Someone needs to be willing to say that the emperor has no clothes. Too many politicians haven't had the guts to say that. It's time they did. <laughs>